We're just seeing some pictures now of the Mall, uh, where I believe we may well be able to see another motorcade. It may well be very, very soon that we see Rishi Sunak head <laughs> back down. I, I don't think we can see any uh, outriders there on the Mall quite yet. But, um, Darren McCaffrey, what do you expect Rishi Sunak will actually be saying at that new lectern of his in a few moments' time? Well, I suspect it will be a speech that is a little longer than the one that we had yesterday at the Party headquarters that lasted, I think, for around 83 seconds. I think there will be a reflection, to a large degree, of the difficult situation the country finds itself in. There is no doubt that this is a Prime Minister facing an incredibly difficult task, potentially the greatest in-tray of difficulties since the end of the Second World War. Uh, there are almost fires in every department that he's going to have to try and put out, whether that is the economic instability, the big decisions on departmental spending, the possibility of tax rises, whether it is war on the continent of Europe that could escalate at any stage, listening to what is emanating from the Kremlin, whether it is the real concern this winter about the NHS and its ability to cope, uh, not just with the normal crises that we see, but also potentially with the return of COVID uh, and a bad flu season. Uh, as I say, it is, uh, you know, you could talk about what's going to happen with the future of the United Kingdom too, with this pushed by Nicola Sturgeon and the SNP to try and hold a second referendum. I, I, what I'm trying to demonstrate here, Tom, is that you could almost go through every single government department and find some really deep-seated, really serious issues that Rishi Sunak is going to have to address. And in the end, he is going to, I think, talk about those challenges, be pretty frank with the British public, when he speaks in what we reckon in about 10 minutes' time or so. Um, we will also hear, I think, about trying to bring the party and the country uh, together. We heard that yesterday, the words of humility, sorry, of unity uh, quite a lot, because in the end that is something that he is going to have to try and do, is try and bring particularly the Conservative Party together, can, given the infighting that we've seen over the last year or so. And also humility. Uh, again, another word and integrity he touched upon. I think these are going to be his watchwords for his premiership in the sense that what he will want to emphasise, maybe distance himself from one of his former bosses, i.e. Boris Johnson, that he will talk about he will be a humble prime minister uh, and one that will demonstrate integrity.